Over the years, we've brought you a number of stories that have demonstrated the power of adaptive sports, from a boot camp for paralyzed veterans to beat baseball for youngsters who are blind. This morning, Michael Schlesinger highlights a team of bowlers enjoying the camaraderie and competitiveness offered in a league of their own. Meet the team or as I call them, the bowling broads, Sandy Tisdell, Judy Henderson, and Rhonda Lang. We fake play sisters. Yeah. Sandy the old one, I'm the middle one, Jan, Rhonda the youngest one. <laughs> Rhonda even has her own signature bowling ball with the name Turkey on it. She loves to do her own call of the wild. Judy has the inscription booty on hers. It's a name she was called when she was very young. Judy, Judy with the ice cream booty. Judy, Judy with the concrete booty. They used to make me so mad. Just about every Friday evening from 6 to 9, beginning sometime in August and typically going to May, you'll find these ladies right here at Burnham Bowl in West Dallas. They compete against seven to eight other teams during the season, including others who are partially or totally blind. It just keeps you active, it keeps you functioning. Um, it just, you just feel like you're more socially involved with other people. Their group is called the Milwaukee Beer Barrels. Bowling is in their blood, and their blindness makes them a league of their own. You don't let it get you down, just get out here and do it. They bowl three games each time with the help of railings. One person with sight is on hand to assist and keep score. I like to compete. That's what I think about when I'm bowling. It gives me that opportunity to continue to compete in sports. Do you intuitively know when you get a strike? Um, I usually sometimes can hear a lot of pins go down, but I don't always know if it's a strike until they tell me. And then what do you do? What's your reaction? <laughs> I'm usually surprised because I don't get that many strikes. I can hear the pins dropping. And sometimes they all drop all together. Boom, boom, boom. And sometimes they drop like dominoes. And when they say you got a strike, what do you do? Oh, I'm thrilled. <laughs> I go like this. <laughs> or they'll tell me to sit down right away. Usually if they tell you to sit down before you a second ball, you know you have a strike. And while their form isn't perfect, you might say their efforts are. But I don't think of blindness as a disability. I think once you overcome it and can do the things that you do, you just have to keep, keep trying and keep going. A friend of Judy's took note of these women and what they do on a weekly basis. So Scott Cron knew he had to document it in the form of a short film. My best game ever, I bowled a 128. My worst game, I bowled a zero. <laughs> it's about a little bit about their lives and about Friday night bowling, uh, having a good time and just um, enjoying life, living life to the fullest. The 13 and a half minute documentary called Friday Night Blind has already been seen in 15 film festivals and I'm told will be in at least 17 more. These women are so inspiring. They're like family now. I've gotten to be really good friends with them over the years. You ask anyone involved in this project and they'll tell you the reward isn't about fortune or fame or even a high pin count per game. It's really about setting an example for everyone, special needs or not, to follow. Enjoy the world, because if you don't, it's going to pass you right on back.